One of the best ways to make stubs in MLB The Show Diamond Dynasty every single year is with investments. Investing in cars that are a low price and eventually selling them down the road for a higher price. Normally we do this with live series cars when roster updates come out, when gold cars become diamonds, silver cars become golds. But in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys some different type of cars to invest in. Cars that are in a certain program right now that might be going away in the near future whose value I think is going to rise. Some examples of that are the faces of the franchise cars, the battle royale program cards. So this one's going to be a ton of fun. If you're excited for the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to follow me over on Twitch. We've been live streaming a ton of MLB The Show 22 content, and I hope to see you in the next stream, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so hot. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. All right, everyone. So I'm here back on MLB The Show 22, and we are talking the best cars to invest in right now. But like I said in the intro, this one's going to be a little bit different than my normal investment videos. Now, normally you invest in live series cars. They go up in price. They go down in price, depending on how those players play in real life. But we're not going to take a look at actual live series cars today. We're actually be taking a look at cards in events, Battle Royale, Face of the Franchise Program. I'm going to explain why we're going to do that. And let's start things off with the Faces of the Franchise Program and why I think you should start to invest to some of these faces of the franchise cards. So if you go to collections, you go to legends and flashbacks, and then we're gonna have a bunch of different categories. We have cover athletes, we have the milestone, signature series, rookie, breakout, but here is faces of the franchise. And when you click into faces of the franchise, if you guys don't know, there are 30 faces of the franchise cards, one for every single MLB team. Now, if you pay attention to the right-hand side of the screen, you are going to see if you collect one, you get 50 stubs. You collect six, you're gonna get the show pack and 200 stubs. And then if you collect 12 of these faces of the franchise, cards you get a ball and as a habit pack and you also get 500 stubs but what's missing from this collection a diamond player item there is a diamond player collection that will come to this faces of the franchise program probably once the face of the franchise program expires in about 10 days or so because if you take a look at some of these other collections let's look at the rookie collection if you collect 10 of these guys you get an 86 diamond overall mark prior you collect some of these breakout cards 15 of them you get an 89 overall dave parker majority of these collections let's take the all-star two 85 overall joe nathan if you collect a certain amount of cards in all these collections most of the time you are getting a diamond card but right now there is no diamond reward for the faces of the franchise program there's so many cards in this program that i find it hard to believe they're not going to come out with a master collection face of the franchise item now it might not be a 99 overall card i don't think it's going to be a 99 overall collection but i can see it being a 95 plus overall card maybe it's a 95 overall shohei otani for him being on the cover of the game this year i really don't know the card that would be the collection reward. maybe we'll talk more about that down the road but these faces of the franchise cards are extremely too cheap right now the more expensive ones are only about 20,000 stubs on the market let's take Francisco Lindor for example you can put a buy order in for Lindor right now for about 19,000 stubs and get them that is extremely too cheap and this card is honestly pretty nasty really good contact really good power switch handed bat love his swing these cards are just too cheap now let's take this Devin Williams for example once these face of the franchise packs are gone once it expires these cards will not be able to be earned anymore the only way you can get them going forward after this is going to be to buy them on the marketplace and Devin Williams is one of the best relief in the game on paper and in game because the per nine stats are excellent 112 hits per nine 114 Ks per nine and he's only 12,500 stubs right now that is way too cheap this card and the role Chapman even Emmanuel class a those three relievers are some of the top relievers in the entire game and they are extremely too cheap right now once this program is done I know for a fact that at least these relievers are going to go up in price maybe Lindor Corey Seager those cards might not go up too much because there's good middle infielders in the game and then the outfield we're going to have cards like Mike Trout if I can get to him we have Mike Trout in the outfield we have Robert we have Cedric Mullins who I don't have right now we have Byron Buxton there are a ton of great outfield options but I do think the cards that will definitely go up in price if there's not even a collection is going to be the 90 overall Devin Williams the Chapman and the Class A but if there's a collection for the face of the franchise all of these cards are going to start to go up in price especially if it's a big 95 plus overall card so in my opinion I think the risk is very low to invest in these face of the franchise cards especially because most of them could probably go into your starting line 
lineup right now. Devin Williams is a great reliever. Joey Votto, Josh Bell, great first baseman options. You have a budget trout. You have a budget Robert. These cards are insanely good. They're only about 15,000 stubs on the market for 90 overalls, let's say in a month when people get the game and face of the franchise isn't out anymore. They're going to want these 90 overall cards for their team to start off the year. They're going to pay some pretty serious stubs to get these cards onto their team because the packs aren't going to be there anymore. So these faces of the franchise cards, I cannot stress it enough. Right before the program goes away, I would say a few days before, I'm probably going to buy them. I think that's when they're going to be their cheapest. I would say a couple days before it goes away, they're going to start to rise in price. So that is when I'm going to try to take advantage of these face of the franchise cards, buy a bunch of them. I'm going to try to get different players. That way, if there is a collection, I can lock them all in because you can't lock two CJ Crohn's into the collection. Just keep that in mind. You're going to need one of every single card to lock them into a collection. I would say at least we're going to need 20 face of the franchise cards for a collection if they do put out a diamond player, maybe even 25, or maybe you have to get every single one of them. I have no idea. We'll have to figure that out in the future, but I do think there is going to be a diamond player award for the faces of the franchise program. And even if they're not, they are going to go up in price because these cards are too good and too cheap right now. The next cards I want to talk about actually is going to be the Battle Royale program. Now, if you're watching this on the day I put it out on Monday or Tuesday very early, the Battle Royale 1 program is still out. If you're watching when the Battle Royale 2 program has come out, it's going to be too late for you to invest in these cards. But the reason why I would invest in some of these Battle Royale program cards, and the first card we will talk about is the 90 point BR reward, and that is 90 overall Larry Doby. Kind of like the face of the franchise cards, a 90 overall diamond that's really good against righties, not bad in the field at all, and pretty solid speed is only 11,000 stubs right now with a buy order. And the reason for that is that everybody is finishing this Battle Royale program right now. But once the Battle Royale program is gone, you can't earn this Larry Doby anymore. So he's going to start to go up in price. But not only that, I showed you guys earlier, the All-Star Collection, the Veteran Collection, the Rookie Collection, all those type of collections, they're going to require this Larry Doby in the All-Star Collection. And that's going to lead me to these gold cards. Now, all the gold cards, the silver BR cards, the bronze BR cards, you're going to see the Veteran Collection, the All-Star Collection, the Breakout Collection. These cards are very cheap right now. Now, I know 7,000 doesn't seem cheap, but I'm telling you, once they start to put out the 99 overall collections in the game, if you guys played in 21, we had four big 99 overall voucher collections where you had to get a voucher in every single collection. So the veteran, the all-star, the breakout, the face of the franchise, all that stuff to be able to lock in for a 99 overall Mariano Vera. And then as the game progressed, as we got more cards, we got a Mookie Betts collection, which required more vouchers than the Rivera. And then we had Kershaw and then we had Griffey. So we're going to start to see those 99 overall collections where you're going to have to collect a lot of cards in every single collection. So I would probably try to get some of these cheap because when they announce a collection, the 99 overall one for the first time this year, these veteran cards that are in the BR program and not able to be earned for the remainder of the year, you can only get them on the market. These cards are going to start to go up in price because people are going to want to get that collection done and they're going to want to go on the market and try to get this Hunter Renfro card, but he's only going for 7,000 stubs right now. But down the road, I can easily see him going for 15, 20 K, maybe even because that's what happened last year when we started to get those 99 overall collections that required vouchers and all the collections in the game and if you can't afford some of those gold cards maybe lower your value to the silver cards here because they're going to have value too because they are going to go into collections the rookie the all-star the breakout you can get this nick castellanos right now for about 4300 stubs you probably want to put a buy order in for him make sure you're not buying now he actually doesn't have a buy now price right now neither does the mark melanson but i know vladimir Guerrero jr does for about 5,000 stubs. you will save a ton of stubs by putting in buy orders and sell orders make sure you are not buying now and make sure you are not selling now and not only with these battle royale cards the face of the franchise cards but any card you are buying on the market make sure you're putting buy orders in sell orders in that will help you save a ton of stubs you can also get this jt Riomuto for about 4200 stubs with a buy order so these silver cards are cheaper than the golds and then we have bronzes too for those who can't afford the silvers or the gold cards we have these bob feller cards we have the trevor hoffman card for about 2000 stubs you got this jimmy fox you got the xander bogarts so any of these cards will come back in the future to hopefully make you some stubs when the collections come out and you don't even have to buy them, honestly, if you have time to grind the Battle Royale program. Now, if you've gotten started on this, it'll be a lot easier. But if you can get the 30 BR points, you can get one bronze card, you can get one silver card, and you can get one gold card before the BR program is done. You can save them for a little bit. Don't sell them on the market right away. Wait a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months till some of these collections come out. And you can wind up selling them for a good amount of stubs. These are going to be more long-term investments, the face of the franchise cards. Maybe not so much. Maybe they could be a little bit more short-term if a diamond card comes out as soon as we get rid of the face of the franchise program but these br program cards you're going to want to hold on to to at least the first collection comes out for the first 99 overall card in the game after the live series collections next thing we will also take a look at is going to be events so that's like battle royale but events is a little bit different you actually have a win track here instead of a point track for the battle royale program 
bonus. This is very simple. Once you get 20 wins in the event program, you are going to get this 90 overall Honus Wagner, another free diamond card that's only going for about 10,000 stubs right now. And that is because you can earn them on the market right now in events. The same thing just happened with Alfonso Soriano's card and Nolan Ryan the route in the previous event, I think at the beginning of the year, a few weeks ago, those cards were extremely cheap as the event started to progress. But once the event ended, they've already started to go up in price. Not so much yet, but they will go up more and more as we're going to have to lock cards into the collection. So this Honus Wagner, take advantage right now. If you're not buying any of these cards, go earn them for free. Get 20 wins. We have a few more days in this event. But for 10,000 stubs, you get a 90 overall diamond you can use on your team because this card's pretty solid. Really good speed, really good contact. But like I said, you're getting them for the collection and to flip them down the road. Same thing for this 91 overall Steve Ciszek card. This is another excellent reliever like that Devin Williams and the role this Chapman face of the franchise card. Really good pitch selection. He always has a tricky release to time up at the plate. Sidearm release here. This card is very good for your bullpen. Just make sure you're not locking him into a collection. Make sure you are trying to get enough of him. That way you can flip on the market down the road. And just to show you all really quickly, this Alfonso Soriano card, you see that he started to go back up in price as the days progress. He got as low as about 14,000 stubs buy now price. He is now back at 19,000 stub buy now price. And he's been out of events for about a week or so. So as time progresses, as we're going to need a card like this for a collection down the road, this card is going to continuously rise in price. So get these event cards while you can. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. Cards I believe you should invest in that aren't just live series cards. I will do another investment video in the near future on just live series cards. That way we can make some stubs in the next roster update. So make sure to look out for that one. But if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe if you're new i would greatly appreciate it make sure to follow me at my social links which are on the screen for you guys right now but i'll talk to you in the next video have a great rest of your day peace